Hello everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at The Blue Beetle. This is the latest entry in the DC movie universe, directed by Angel Manuel Soto and starring Sholo Maraduena, Susan Sarandon, and George Lopez. Maraduena plays young Jaime Reyes, a college graduate returning to his hometown of Palmera City, only to discover that his family is about to be evicted from their home by some rich corporate assholes. That would be stressful enough on its own, but then he unwittingly receives an artifact known as the Scarab, which fuses with him and gives him superpowers. The same rich corporate developer assholes want the Scarab, and unfortunately, the only way to get it back from him is to kill him. Naturally, he's not too keen on that idea. It's kind of your basic superhero plot where the bad guys want the thing and the good guys have to stop the bad guys from getting the thing or they will do bad things with the thing. Although in this case, the good guy is the thing, or at least the thing is very much attached to him. That scarab is doing something to his spine and it is not pretty. This was originally supposed to go straight to HBO Max, but they made the decision to give it a theatrical release. And I for one am glad that it got more exposure than it otherwise would have had, but sadly it did not do very well. That thing we all know as superhero fatigue could certainly be a factor. Part of it might also be that the Blue Beetle is not as well known a DC property as, say, your Superman or your Wonder Woman or your Batman. And it didn't get all that much promotion from the cast because of the SAG after strike, which is totally understandable. And it's really too bad because I thought the movie was totally fine. It is a bit derivative, to be fair. It's got many elements that we have all seen before. He has a technologically advanced super suit that talks to him, that sounds a lot like Iron Man. He is a bug-themed superhero, kind of similar to Ant-Man. And Jaime Reyes is not the first Blue Beetle in the comics and in the movie. There are references to Ted Kord and Dan Garrett coming before him. Which again is kind of similar to Ant-Man and how it was an origin story for Scott Lang, but they still acknowledged Hank Pym. And the end of the movie kind of reminds me of Batman Begins. Jaime is very big on not killing anyone, even though the Scarab, which is apparently known as Kaji Da, is not all that afraid to kill people, at least at first. But then at the end of the movie, there is a I'm not gonna kill you, but I don't have to save you moment. And really, best case scenario, that's manslaughter. Cut the shit. And some of the dialogue was kind of dumb. A big part of this is the Reyes family being Latino and they have to deal with not getting as many opportunities as the rich white assholes that live on the good side of town. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with telling that story, but it's the way they told it that just felt like they were trying too hard. There's a point in the movie where Jaime gets a meeting with Jenny Cord, who is the daughter of former Blue Beetle Ted Cord, and he goes to the front desk at her office and introduces himself as Jaime, and the lady at the front desk immediately starts calling him Jamie. How the hell do you hear Jaime and say Jamie? It'd be one thing if it was written out on a name tag because Jaime does kind of look like Jamie, or if he walked up to her and said, hi, I have a nine o'clock with Jenny Cord. It's like, oh yes, it's right here, Jamie. Actually, it's Jaime. Yeah, sure, whatever, Jamie, go have a seat over there. That would have worked, but that's not how they did it. You have to be a special kind of asshole to hear Jaime and then start calling someone Jamie. Like, that just, that, that was a bit much. I wasn't buying it. The cast overall were pretty good. I did like the Reyes family. They were a lot of fun, and you can definitely feel the love they have for each other. I think Nana, who is played by Adriana Barraza, was my favorite character. She seems like a sweet old granny at first, but apparently she has a past as a revolutionary, and Nana still remembers how to use a machine gun. She was awesome, and if there's a sequel, I hope we get more of her. I liked Mara Duena as Jaime Reyes. He did a really good job playing the new college graduate who is just trying to find his place in the world. Doesn't really help that he's pre-law, and he's kinda stuck unless he can get money for law school. And I did like how he and Kashi Da are learning from each other as they bond over time, literally and figuratively. George Lopez was very funny as Uncle Rudy, no surprise there. He's kind of a conspiracy theory nut job, but at least he's the fun type and not the storm the capital type. Susan Sarandon plays Victoria Cord, who is a total cartoon villain. She brought a generous serving of ham to this role, which is fine for this type of movie because, like a lot of superhero movies, it is a bit silly. There's a scene where the family finds Ted Cord's bug ship and they use it to go help Jaime, and apparently Ted programmed it so that when you turn it into beast mode, Motley Crue's Kickstart My Heart starts playing. And that is a very silly thing to do, but I am going to give it a pass because, honestly, I would do the exact same thing. If I'm going to start mowing down bad guys with my huge friggin' mech, you better believe I will be blasting Lamb of God while I do it. The action sequences were a lot of fun overall. The Blue Beetle has a lot of cool alien tech at his disposal. And I was a little surprised at how good these special effects were, considering this movie's budget was less than half of The Flash. 
There were no horrible CGI babies in the Blue Beetle, thank God. Overall, it's not the greatest superhero movie I've ever seen, but I dug it. And if you're not totally burned out by all the superhero movies out there, it's at least worth a matinee. And the mid credit scene would suggest they are not totally done with this character, and I hope that's the case. And that's all I have to say about the Blue Beetle. Till next time, take care.